Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Breaker here and today we are going to see the second part of the BL that is Broken Land. So um, as you have already seen many of the things like in the previous uh, video, I have already shared the four different servers, each server in the corner and then there is uh, some rewards after capturing each fortress and everything so today i'm going to talk about the throne so um if any of you don't know so uh when you capture the throne you will get thousand points for the kingdom point as well as when you capture the throne there is reward and the reward is the golden armor the golden armor of 23.1 percent that is uh like pretty nice thing because uh be before this there was nothing like uh, armored given in this type of events and all so yeah this is the first event i have seen in which they are giving the armor like the golden armor the second was the uh, dragon event in which they are giving uh, like 10 or 5 scroll 10 scrolls on win and 5 scrolls on uh, like lose so it's a like pretty uh, like lengthy process but uh, in bl you will get like in a month so yeah and uh, for the whole server you are getting not just for your alliance but for the whole server so that's the best part about pl so if you don't know just uh, on the throne day like throne war day um try to uh, like get the throne you will get the thousand points as well as, well as the shiny golden armor that is legendary of course so yeah so uh, we are currently ranking number two in the kingdom like uh, kingdom points uh, and the first reward is the 200 platinum coupons that we are after <coughs> excuse me guys so okay so okay so i would like to tell you about a, a like tactic or strategy you, you can say that helps us to like uh, get more and more points in the broken land so as you can see uh, the initial was this where it was the first gate pass that was the initial stage of the broken land phase one and after that the second phase has open so as soon as the second phase open you have to do is the like you have to just take the pass and uh, first of all in the first phase uh, second phase when there is both servers uh, same uh, land so you have to try to gather as many uh, as many fortress as you can and then when you t like push the other server try to hold their gate pass because once you hold their gate pass they can't like um, teleport to the other side or they can't even march to the like attack to the other side so that's the best profit of the gate pass so like that prevents uh, the enemy or the enemy server to attack in your like area if you have the gate pass so this is the like the biggest part in the whole like broken land is the mountain pass if you hold the mountain pass you hold the game you have the upper hand if you have the mountain pass so all you have to do is just get the mountain pass and uh, try to uh, get the front uh, fortress of the mountain pass for example as soon as we uh, get this mountain pass we try to capture the fortress that is exactly in front of this uh, i don't know why it's not showing come on <laughs> okay so most probably the mountain pass should be here somewhere but I, I don't know why it's not showing the okay yeah so here it is so as you can see the mountain pass so as soon as you get this mountain pass they are restricted to attack uh, on the mountain pass because mountain pass can be get in like uh, two minutes so as soon as you enter in the mountain pass and you try like trying to occupy the mountain pass in two minutes you can occupy the mountain pass and to like on the first level of fortress it takes 12 hours so all you have to do is defend uh, only one fortress for 12 hours and after you have defended the fortress all you have to do is like uh, as like when the enemy server tries to attack and reclaim the fortress you just have to uh, cancel their uh, like timing for example if they are um i can say if they are like 
doing um, attack and getting the like fortress so all you have to do is just cancel the time attack the fortress take uh, like destroy and capture it and then release all your troops um, after capturing it so it will when they capture again then the timer will start again of 12 hours so that's the whole like plan of the gate pass in the front fortress so yeah so as you can see we have uh, taken our land as well as the enemy land uh, we are trying to push the 433 server currently and uh, I guess the server is quite dead so yeah uh, sorry for that if that's offending so okay so as you can see we have the gate pass uh, all you have to do is um, like when you take the gate pass uh, try to take the front fo fortress for example as soon as you get the gate pass if you take this fortress they are like uh, not able to attack the gate pass and they have to first capture the fortress then only they can attack and the uh, best part about like the fort like gate pass is if you have the gate pass and if any land is connected to the gate pass then you are restricted to attack that also for an example if we have this gate pass and uh, there is an area okay let me just show you come on load 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 uh, i don't know why the lights okay let me show you here so for an example if the enemy has the this gate pass uh, this uh, gate pass which are we holding right now if uh, the enemy server takes this gate pass we are not able to attack this fortress as well as the left fortress also so this way you can manage like two fortresses just by holding the gate pass so it's all about strategies in the broken land for you and uh, one more thing in broken land if you are taking a uh, like fortress of enemy try to take uh, the like try to break their fortress uh, touching each other for example as you can see there are two fortress so if you claim this fortress on your uh, on your server's name then they can't even defend this fortress so by capturing uh, by targeting just one fortress and applying your whole power to defend it so like when you capture one you can get the second one as like as a cake or you can just put one troop and it will get you the fortress because they can't defend or they can't attack even the fortress to defend it so yeah that's the whole trick and uh, one more thing like when you like capture a land it will grant you power so the more you capture the more powerful your alliance become the whole server gets the power for example if you capture this fortress you will get 0.1 percent boost so if you capture 10 like fortress so we can get one percent so in if you capture 100 fortress for an example it will grant us 10 percent power boost and this all like sanctum if you like get this sanctum you get directly one percent of power boost and this is the phase one thing and when you like capture the phase two things let me show you it will grant you two percent power boost and also the fortress of level two is granting more i guess let me just check uh yeah okay no it's the same okay so level one and level two power boost are same but the sanctum powers are different as you can see uh, when you get this special like fortresses or i can say sanctum you get the power boost of two percent in the level two and level one it's one percent <coughs> extremely sorry for that um so yeah all you have to do is defend try to gather more and more fortress to get more and more power and more and more po points in the kingdom guard and on the last day that is throne war throne war is on sunday and they have uh, right now put uh, like throne war of the server to saturday that is the best thing like the update what like i was worried if both are both the throne war are, uh, are at same day so it can be a problem for us <coughs> extremely sorry um so yeah all, all you have to do is like get this uh, throne to get the like reward of the golden armor and uh, and uh, also uh, this like the mountain pass will open in like two days and eight hours 
most probably on Sunday. Uh, you can see the timer on this uh, when you click the mountain pass. It will show you the timer. So uh, the reward is also some uh, good. Like uh, you are getting restore of uh, fifteen restores of one half, as well as you are getting light regiments thousand, as well as the normal just eighteen. So try to capture the uh, try to get in the mountain pass while you are capturing, so you get the reward. So this is it. Uh, this was the whole. Uh, I can say you can say strategy or whole thing. Uh, try to just take the front fortress of the gate pass to defend and to attack the enemy fortresses as well as the enemy server and try to gather more and more fortress to boost up your power for the whole server. And uh, when you capture like uh, one fortress that is uh, eliminating to connect the fortresses of enemy server. For example, if you are capturing this, so the both like this blue light which which is having a star. It will get nullified, so they can't defend or attack it. So this way, uh, you can just smart play and uh, try to <coughs> try to like get more and more fortresses while uh, using uh, less and less scrolls and uh, dividing your power in the whole area. So this way, you can do the uh, things. So this was it. Hope you understood. And if there is any problem, any query, you can like. Always ask in the comments, and this is it. So, have a nice day, all of you, and uh, hope you guys are doing well. Be lovely, be friendly with each other, and that was it. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.